All right, so I'm finally getting around to building the greenhouse. So we'll get it uh, put together and and uh, finally get some heat to the fish since uh, it's actually been doing okay. They're hanging around 60 degrees, I think, a little bit less. Um, it's been a really warm fall so far. So I haven't had to, um, you know, really worry about low temperatures in the tank. So. But today we're going to start the greenhouse project and finally get it started uh, built. Hopefully we can finish this by the end of the weekend. Uh, today is Saturday and it's already late, uh, in the afternoon, like 4.30 or 5 or something. So let's get started. So uh, first I just want to show you what it's all looking like. Um, to be honest, it looks horrible right now. Um, we have, I've really neglected this thing. Uh, tremendously in the last month and a half I've tested the water like once and uh, it was you know like once or twice in the last month and a half which is kind of bad um, fish are doing fine though I still feed them daily obviously um, but as the rest of this you can see it's it's looking like a mess so I don't really eat a lot of tomatoes I'm still got quite a bit here I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'm probably gonna cut off a lot of this and uh, go ahead and get this thing prepared for the fall. Do some replanting. This is going to be closing the greenhouse in, get all this cleaned up. But that will all begin after I've gotten as far as I can building the greenhouse. So today, I'm going, I've bought all the green plates and everything, and I will be um, starting the three foot, maybe two feet, probably three foot pony wall on both sides here. So. Let's uh, get that started. Okay, so I've got all the green plate nailed in here. And then I remembered, unfortunately, that Whenever I put in these landscape timbers, this is doubled up on each other, that I only put in a few nails to tie those two together because I was like, okay, when I build my greenhouse, I'll, I'll finish those. Well, I put the green plates on completely forgetting to more securely nail those landscape timbers together. Yeah, that's just awesome. So, uh, I refuse to pull up everything I've just done. <laughs> Luckily, I've got some really long, uh, very long screws, heavy duty um, screws. I'm not really, I can't remember what they're called, but it's what I use to tie the 4x4 to the other 4x4. And um, yeah, it's used to tie those together. So it's, it's plenty long enough to secure from the green plate all the way down through them. So that's what I'll use. I'll just use it. They're really expensive. I think they're like $2. Um, a nail or a screw um, so I'll probably just put in I'll just use the extra ones I have I don't plan on using them for anything else so I think I might have like eight of them um, maybe less maybe like four or six so yeah that really doesn't do much um, I'll see if my dad has any ideas he's a he's a builder so <laughs> I am not undoing this okay moving on I gotta uh, move this plate to the back and then start measuring and marking off the studs. Well, yeah, basically the studs and then for the next plate that goes on it. So that's what's next. All right, I took two eggplants in just now. Cleaning this up, I've pulled all the tomato plants. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna do tomatoes in aquaponics anymore, or at least in my two grow beds here because it just takes over and, and just creates a big mess. Um, I'm not a big tomato eater anyways. I'll just continue putting them, I'll probably grow maybe two or three in a nice um, bucket there for next year. But I went ahead and pulled them out and made a big pile, you can see over there, of all the tomatoes. Um, I've got this huge, I had this Coke bottle, you know, filled full of, uh, of uh, stuffing and you know set in here but you can see from where the water came in the, the these are roots i mean it's just 
pack. I mean, it's basically dammed up all the water from getting. Oh, well, I mean, it's all going to fill up, but it, the water just can't get to these roots so thick. But um, you can see where the roots just it grew in mass right here because of the water source. Part of it, I had a tomato plant right here, a big one. There's a massive root under here. I still got to get out. I think I'm going to just for now on um, plant everything in a root pouch so that I don't have to deal with the roots, uh, the root mess. That's, once you begin to pull something out, you've got to like try to get out all these little pieces. You don't have to, but I prefer to so I don't have as much just dead um, roots and stuff in here. So anyways, I got to pull this big mass out. Hopefully it's not too much connected to, it's probably a big part of this one, but this here is another eggplant. It shoots off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I hate to waste it. Um, I don't have another, anything else to plant it in at the moment. And we've already wasted so many eggplants. We're just not eating them quick enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull, get rid of this one. I've still got two. That leaves me two. That's fine. Strawberries over there are doing really good, healthy. Pepper plant, which I neglected, was growing kind of into the uh, tomato plant. So, but yeah, I'll get this cleaned up and I got some sprouts. I'm not really sure what this is. Got a few of them in places. Um, I fact, I think I just mistakenly buried some of it. <laughs> and I'll get some onion. So I'll get this side replanted. Um, probably lettuce and stuff for the fall. So I gotta deal with this and we'll see where we go from there. And I gotta get all these leaves out too, so that's what I've been doing. Okay. Look at the size of this. This is only this is just a root ball full of these, these little pebbles. So that's roots. And that I pulled this out of here. And as you can see, I went ahead and got rid of that that uh eggplant. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Um I actually well I just retransplanted it. I'm just gonna keep that one. This, because the roots are just massive, and I'm talking, this is, this is maybe half of what I pulled out of here. I mean, there was that, and then there was this side, and then there was more underneath. I'm already throwing a bunch of it over there. So, you definitely know that if you put an eggplant in your aquaponics, put it in a big root pouch, it's going to get huge. <laughs> so, kind of scared of that side, it's going to be pretty darn huge as well. So I'm just going to keep on digging away, trying to salvage what I can out of these, these pebbles. Because um, I don't want to lose too many of them. They are expensive. So I'll just keep plugging away, getting all this root, these roots out of here. Okay, it's getting dark. Uh, part two tomorrow. As you can tell, I didn't really get, I got nowhere. Um, because I uh, kind of got distracted and took on other things. Completely cleaned that out, got all the roots out as you've seen, transplanted some things, cut the raspberry, uh, transplanted another one. Then I picked up the dog poo in the yard because it was like a war zone and I stepped in two or three just trying to do this little bit I did. So I, got, I think I got everything else done but the greenhouse. <laughs> but at least I got the bottom plate on, I've got the wood carried in. I've got it marked all around where the studs are going to go. I've got to go grab two more boards before it gets too dark here uh, out of the truck, bring them back here, shut the gate, and then uh, then we'll start again tomorrow, which my dad will be over to help do that, uh, to help finish up, oops, finish up the rest. Um, so still a lot to do. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll only be doing the greenhouse so I can actually get some work done. I took the second grow bed off because uh, if you remember it was just water, no grow media. Um, but I actually, actually it's been empty for like a month or more. Um, so I've moved it over, I'm going to give it a good rinse tomorrow, clean off the styrofoam, maybe buy some more. Uh, and then set it back up once the greenhouse is done. So uh, let's try this again tomorrow. <laughs> 